city of it all is galling. As you move the lens away from the center, it becomes clear that India blocks avowed commitment to upholding constitutionalism is at best an elaborate con. In Tamil Nadu, where the India bloc reigns supreme, the government there just suspended a whole batch of opposition legislators from the state assembly. Why? Because they dared to question the state government about the alleged inadequacy of its response in dispensing justice to the families of 61 people. Viewers, 61 people who have been, quite frankly, murdered by criminal negligence on part of the administration. Indeed, the death toll in Tamil Nadu in the spurious liquor case has ballooned, viewers, to 61. I'm underlining this figure because it is expected to go higher. And it constitutes one of the most devastating tragedies in the last 24 months. Yet, viewers, is this issue being raised at the center? No, viewers. Not by the opposition. Has the Congress questioned its own ally? No, viewers. It hasn't. What has the DMK government done? apart from instituting a, unfortunately, one has to say this because no one else is, a facile inquiry, really, by a retired judge. We know how those end up. The opposition will point you in the direction of several of those inquiries that have been held by the government against them to say it amounts to nothing. Viewers, the CBCID, the police, is going to now go into what many people believe is actually the culpability of the police in this case. Clearly, justice is not assured. The act of muzzling the opposition flies, therefore, in the face of the India bloc's trenchant criticism of Modi, who they accuse of being a dictator. And viewers, you have the facts as they are unfurling in the state around this story on your screen. And I'm not going to get into a DMK versus AI DMK debate here, viewers. I'm only going to bring in a member of the public to give us his impression of what we are seeing, this hypocrisy and the inaction. Dr. Anand Ranganathan, over to you. I have introduced this particular topic. I would like you to give us a perspective. No, clearly, Rahul, good evening. Look, um, uh, to paraphrase George Orwell, all governments are equal, but some are more equal than others, as far as the media is concerned. We've seen this time and again, that the exact same thing that the media accuses Modi of doing, when any of the state governments and its leaders do, there is complete pin drop silence. Uh, just to narrate three instances of the state that we are talking about, Tamil Nadu, you had the Congress saying that it will come hard on terrorism while at the same time it kept completely mum when no one less than the chief minister, Mr. Stalin, felicitated the killer of Rajiv Gandhi. There was pin drop silence. Rahul Gandhi looked the other way. This is the, the kind of rule setup that they have. When Congress talks about complete corruption in the anonymous electoral bond scheme, it is not only silent on its own garnishing or garnering 1,600 crores from the same electoral bonds, it is completely silent when the DMK also does it. And when the DMK sends its police to arrest a person erstwhile, uh, uh, you know, uh, a kind of cushioning or being, uh, uh, what can I say, friendly to the DMK regime, just because he, quote unquote, conducted a controversial interview, a YouTuber was arrested, was brought to Tamil Nadu via train. Then it is not trampling of democracy. When the Supreme Court denies bail to the Coimbatore bombers where 53 innocents were killed and the DMK releases those bombers and not just releasing, telling that, look, let nobody say that we are against the Muslim community in doing so. Look at the thought process that goes in. Co Congress and everybody else, including the media, is completely silent. So let's not go down that road of hypocrisy. Let's just, I, I don't know what to say. We have to grin and bear it. We're living in an age where people are so biased and one-sided that they are going to cushion each and every crime of the DMK government, including this, when the same Congress was demanding a sitting High Court judge, when the same Gujarat huge tragedy happened, and right now, they are absolutely all right with a retired judge giving a report that will lie and gather dust on some atop Godrej Almira in some godforsaken corridor of our government house. 
only till the next tragedy, of course. Uh, undeclared emergency is the word that the Congress has been using to define the Modi years, the last 10 years and what they believe are going to unfold now for the next five. Now, I want to ask you, Dr. Ranganathan, since you brought it up, why is there this selectivity in the media? Many people are also beginning to ask this question from civil society, just like yourself. I think there are two reasons for it. One is that they're completely bought out. The other is that now, because increasingly so, uh, they think that the media is shifting towards YouTube, the subscriber base, they are uh, going to placate them. So they are not going to annoy their subscriber base. And we've seen it time and again in matters of religion, when dire threats have been given to people just for speaking out against an atrocity. The YouTubers, so-called YouTubers who call others Godi Media, complete, keep complete silence. Mm. They don't want to annoy the subscriber base because the subscribers will leave them en masse. We've seen this time and again, but uh, Rahul, away from the media, we have to talk about the political party and the opposition because the media only has so much yes. say. That's in, true. You know, in, in making sure how the proceedings of the nation yeah. go. It is the opposition. And when the opposition says there is undeclared emergency, I want to ask this one question. When the opposition had the chance to catch BJP by the scruff of its neck and drag it onto the streets, demanding resignation, when they amended the FCRA Act, thereby rendering the conviction okay. of the High Court against BJP toothless, yes. what did the opposition do? Hmm. The opposition sided with the BJP. The opposition amended well, the FCRA Act. So these are the same people who are crying emergency. They are helping in this. Well, viewers, the hypocrisy melts away when there are searing hard facts. I'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go away.